Good morning, family. Happy Monday. It is April the 22nd. I hope you guys had a very beautiful, blessed weekend. I haven't seen you for a few days. Uh, Friday, we took the kitties to the veterinarian, and they had a really rough day on Friday, but are doing much, much better now. So all honor and glory to the creator. All right. Speaking of honor and glory, let's uh, get into these oracles and give the creator all the glory for sending these beautiful spiritual messages today. Now, as you can see on the screen, I'm going to do another day or two of Starseed and the telepathy cards with trees and a lot of good reviews so far everybody seems to like them and I will slowly introduce a couple of more decks this week okay so let's get into it what do we have today from our fairy oracle we have manifestation manifestation be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life now write it down on paper manifestation step one do you know what you want seems a little blurry doesn't it let's see there we go hope that's better Okay, a little technology. Okay, so we're manifesting today. That can be anything. Whatever that means to you, that's a personal choice. It could be something physical in the 3D. It could be a spiritual, emotional need. Um, you know, love, interest, maybe. Reconciliation. Maybe you're just trying to find simple joy in your life. But you have the power, the, the power and authority to manifest whatever you want. But according to this card, write it down first. Journal it. Write it down. Declare it. Okay? You have the power to do that because you are of the divine. All right? Let's do your angelic light worker. It is number 29. All right? I'm sure Nadia will do your math for you, but I believe that equals number 11, which is be like an ascended master. She'll correct me if I'm wrong, but it says love beyond death. Love beyond death. I think we've had this once before in the last couple of weeks, but let's see what it is. All right. Some endings feel final. Whether the physical passing of a loved one or the loss of a way of life, connection, or identity that we once relied upon for love, security, certainty, or stability, the pain of such loss attracts a special healing quality from Archangel Gabriel. Although the grieving process is painful, it is necessary to allow all souls to continue with the spiritual journey. However, this oracle reminds us that real love never ends. It becomes increasingly pure and free from attachment. Even with letting go, there will be eternal tenderness that takes delight in remembering the good times and wishes for healing and awakening in the ongoing spiritual journey of the soul. No matter what you may be asked to release at this time, trust that the love which means so much to your heart will always be with you. Absolutely. Maybe it is a past loved one. Maybe it's a physical breakup with a loved one. Maybe you've just released um, family members that you're butting headwinds with, and maybe it's just temporary. Sometimes we just need to take a break, take a step back, and it's okay. Everybody needs a chance to breathe catch your breath. So if there's been a physical death, allow yourself to go through the grieving process. You are a human being. It's okay. If it is a relationship in turmoil in the here and now, you can also go through the grieving process. It's okay. Allow yourself to feel those emotions. We are made with emotions. That's what makes us so precious as humans. 
All right. But remember, there's always hope, always hope, as long as you have a connection to the divine creator, because the creator is hope and absolutely unconditional love. All right. Let's go to your ascended master today, which is number 20. And it is flow. What is flowing? Looks like she's manifesting something in her hands. Water flow, maybe. Let's see. There is a natural movement of events in the world. You can see it in the phenomena such as the tide, the ebb of flow of oceans and rivers that rise up from the earth and flow to the sea. The symbol of flow represents the effortless and natural movement towards a certain destination. It signifies an ability to gracefully move around obstacles and reminds you of the sense of allowing. Life is fluid. It is constantly moving. If the creator woke you up today, you're in constant motion. You're going to get up and do your thing. Some things flow slower than others. Don't rush it. Be patient. But there is a rhythm to life. There is there's a reason that, um, well, you know, humans are 70% water. Things are constantly flowing. The blood flow in your, in your veins. The love in your heart. Let that constantly flow. Okay? All right. Moving on, we are going to do... Let's see. This one is the secret language of light, and that is number 32. Today we have divine masculine. Divine masculine. All right. It's the light that supports desire and inspires action. Everything has its purpose. You will not always understand what the purpose of something is. However, it is someone's creation, and that is to be respected. If you don't like it, let it be the inspiration to create something more aligned with your soul's purpose. Consider all areas of your life and reevaluate any part that may not be working. You can be your own father by respecting your ideas and providing a way for them to manifest. All right, so we're still working on manifestation. You are a matter of your own making, so now is the time to recognize your inner strength and motivation and to be the leader of your thoughts and emotions instead of a follower. Stand your ground, regain your self-respect, pick yourself up, and dust yourself off. This is not a time to force against or try to control external forces. This is a time for disciplining the way you focus and what you think about so you can create your dreams. Well, it means take charge of your life. What do you want? You know that old term, I'm, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired? Well, change it. I know, easier said than done sometimes. But are you determined to do it? Are you determined to manifest what you need in your life? Do it with love. Be fluid with it. Let it flow constantly. You can master these skills. We're capable of so much more than what we realize. We've all got divine masculine and feminine in us. So this says be a leader. Kind of pull yourself up by the bootstraps. We all have had to do it a time or two. And this is encouraging you to keep going. So you can have what you truly desire of your heart. You can do it. All right. Your love and light today. Well, it's the gift of love and light. Okay. No one lights a lamp and then covers it with a bowl or hides it under a bed. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light can be seen by all who enter the house. Well, you are the light because you're divinely made. You are the love because you are divine, unconditional love as the creator is. And we need to let that shine. Be the light of the world. Okay, let no matter what darkness is going on in this crazy 3D world we live in, be the light, be the love that gets expressed out there, because believe me, it is contagious. So everything you, you do and think in your thought process, do it of love. Are we all masters of this? No, 
Some are doom and gloom and Debbie Downers. No offense if your name's Deb. That's not what I mean. Think about the love within you and how you can express that out. Love is light. Light is love. Know where it comes from within you. Divinely created. Your angel therapy today is clear yourself. Ask the angels to release any toxic energy that may ha- you may have absorbed. Well, see, when we're not around other people that are not of love and light, we tend to become pieces of Velcro and magnets and we can collect negative energy, things that are toxic for us, that are not good for us. But if you're here listening to this message, you know that you can clear it. It is not yours. Don't accept it. That is not yours to carry. This is very hard to do for empaths. But you do not carry it. It's not yours to carry. So release that burden. You can love and show your light, but you don't hold on to the negative attachments. Okay, so the angels can help release this. Whether it's uh, through uh, forgiveness, healing, your your prayers and your manif- manifestation thought process. Just ask your angels, ask your divine creator, take this, it's not mine. You know, there's that old cliche saying, you know, Jen's good about quoting those. Not today, and not happening. And get rid of that, release it. Clean it out. Go with the flow, all right? Be the leader of the divine masculine and say, nope, all right? All right, your starseed oracle today, very beautiful card. Surrender to the sweetness. This is a Venus energy. It's about pleasure, joy, make love to life. Do you love your life? All right, do you have joy in your heart? Are you doing pleasurable things that make you happy, that fulfill you, that's of the light? This is one of those reminders where it says, you know, take a minute to uh, stop and smell the roses. Yeah, it's kind of what that is. Well, let's read it. This is a sensual, highly feminine card. We have masculine, now we're doing feminine. All right, equal balance, right? It's a call to surrender to the sweetness of life, to let the ever-abundant feminine take over, to taste the fruits you've been working so hard to grow, to let your senses take over and really drink in your life with wonder, to get intoxicated on the simple bounty that this planet has to offer and which you have within you when your well is full. Remember that old phrase, is your glass half empty, half full? Are you an optimist or a pessimist? All right. The ancient Babylonians connected the feminine goddess Ishtar to the planet Venus. Uh, And in Roman mythology, Venus was the goddess of love and beauty. In our night sky, aside from the moon, Venus shines the brightest. Now, you can look at Ishtar that way. I don't like admiring false gods because I know that our divine creator The one true God is of love. So for me personally, I would take out the word Ishtar and just remember God, Father, Mother, Yeshua, that is true love. Now that's my opinion. If you want to follow Ishtar, go ahead. This is our most precious resource and it's the greatest healer. If you've been all work and no play, this is a sign to take some time out. Reconnect with your lover, play with your children, and give yourself the luxury of time without an agenda. Many of us are so busty building our lives that we forget to enjoy them. We forget why we decide to build them in the first place. Disconnection from the sweetness causes more pain than we realize. So in the name of survival, we strive to build the life of our dreams, but drive ourselves to exhaustion. This card is wooing you back to the pleasures of being human, to focusing on what really matters and enjoying your incredible life. So that's that 3D rat race that we've been enslaved into. Is that your only focus in life? Got to pay the bills, got to keep the lights on, got to put food on the table. It's exhausting. I know that. 
because you're preaching to the choir if you tell me otherwise. I mean, I know it is hard. But you've got to allow yourself some fun and love and joy in your heart. So even if it's just walking with Gaia, smelling the roses, if it's technology that you need, okay, play a funny video, listen to a baby laugh, listen to some funny jokes, whatever brings your energy and frequency up, find joy in it, smile, enjoy the beauty, the beauty of your life without thinking of the negative checklist that you have to do. I know you have to do it. I get it, but it's not everything. Okay. All right. Now your telepathy Oracle of trees today is love. We got a lot of love in this reading today. Are we remembering love? Love can conquer everything. And that's true. And the reason that it may sound like one of those old cliches, I felt like a broken record today. It's because God is a universal being of love. And since you're divinely created, so are you. So if you let that light shine and love everything, even if it's negative, sometimes that another cliche is kill it with kindness, just love, smile. I don't recommend going up and hugging a stranger because you might get hurt. But remember how to treat humanity because you're a part of it. Love can conquer everything. All the garbage that's going on in the world today, we can do our part. But remember, our creator is love. And God will step in. Okay? He's the conqueror. He will do it. All right. Now, your final card, your little extra tarot today, is the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving. Now, pentacles can be about financial money. And if you're in the position to help someone, go ahead. It's a reminder that you're comfortable with your finances and it's okay to share, be charitable. But let's remember that pentacles, it's an earth sign. And that means you can manifest for someone else. Maybe you're the one that needs to doing the receiving, you can manifest getting a gift. Remember they have the mindset that you're already abundant. Giving and receiving is done with, um, you know, you, you have to use discernment to figure out who's deserving and who's not, because there's a lot of people out there that will take advantage, but this is a humanity card and humanity is love and light. Let it flow. Manifest what you need. All right. Beautiful message from spirit today. So whatever you do today, do it of love and light with the greatest intention. If you're having a bad day and it sounds like this message is absolutely impossible, ask the creator. Ask the loving universal creator. Send me some more love. And believe me, that warm blanket will wrap around you and you will feel it. And then you will have an overflow. And you can give that away too. Give it to others. So beautiful message today. There is love and light everywhere if you just look. Let's not focus on the doom and gloom. Clear that out. Okay? There's your message today. I know I rattled on and said a lot of cliches, but... Sometimes that's what spirit brings to my head. Scary thought. All right, guys, you all have a beautiful day, and I will see you later on the show. Blessings.